Man, what's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, it's your watch, man. Back at y'all with another video, man. And today, we're going to just talk about what's happening in the news this week. You feel me? I'm going to be getting into Boosie, Kennedy, Era, Mo3, Jeezy, and the versus Gucci, man. Versus battle. I'm really interested in that one, personally, because you're not from Atlanta. You're not from both the news. So, first, let's get into Mo3. You feel me? Mo3 was a Dallas rapper, you know? I never really listened to his music growing up, but, you know, my family from Texas, so, you know, sometimes they would, you know, Plays music here or there and stuff like that. So I get a little, I get a little listen here or there of his music. Yeah. And, um, Boosie was shot at his wake too this week. So Boosie's friend of bands, we all know, got shot up. Please keep Boosie in your prayers because we can't lose Boosie. We really lost enough people. We lost King Von, Kobe, so many people. Shit, it's just wild this year. This year has been wild. He said that so Boosie's sprint band got shot up when he was out when he was at the wake. At um when he's at Mo 3's wake. He got lit up. I don't know I don't know who did it. Do y'all think that's somehow connected? I personally kinda of feel like it's connected a little bit. Because I feel like I don't know if somebody's going just trying to kill Boosie too. Or I don't know if Boosie and Mo 3 pissed two somebody off and they want to go for their heads equal together. Because that don't make no sense why Boosie got shot, because Mo 3 was Boosie's artist. So I'm like, I don't know what's happening there. It's kind of suspicious to me. I feel like somebody's trying to take both of them out the game, personally. That's how I feel. I feel like somebody wants to get at Boosie. And so they want to kill both of them niggas. I pray nothing happens to Boosie. I pray Boosie's not in some kind of, some kind of, some type of trouble where he's out here having to duck and hide from somebody. Hope he don't owe nobody money. I said that. That'd be horrible. I mean, Boosie was taken out because some weird ass shit happened. That'd be weird as fucking horrible. I pray he lives a long, happy life. And we can't lose no more black legends. We lost Chad. We lost too many already. You can't lose Boosie. Please, I pray Boosie. Wolves do the I know he's a strong man. He can tell you the strong spirit individual. Hope he just, you know, keep him in your prayers or whatever. And comment, um, comment, comment the, um, the prayer emojis in the comments too. My next, our next story of the day is. It's Ken and Deera. Can't be every person, people. I don't really watch niggas on YouTube. I hate couples channels personally. They're just corny to me. I don't fuck with them. They're corny to me. They fake too many pranks. I can't stand when YouTubers fake pranks, fake videos. I feel like that's just like spitting on your fans and type. I feel like spitting on your fans and type of way. I never did that to my people. I never fake some content, fake videos, fake a beef. So I personally feel like all this is fake because if a nigga know he's well known for being in a relationship. Why would he do that just in the open? Mm -hmm. That's so stupid. Niggas ain't that stupid, bro. Nigga out here made a million plus dollars off a relationship. I feel like I feel like it's either fake or they've been broke up for a while. They just don't want to tell nobody. They want to keep making the money off of, off of people. So yeah, I wouldn't really read into. It. I feel like it's fake personally. So you know, just let it slide by, and shit like that. You know. Today we're gonna to be talking about you know the Jeezy versus the Gucci man versus battle man. I love Gucci. I love Jeezy man. They both from Atlanta. I personally fuck with Gucci a little bit harder, but Jeezy got more bops to me personally. I like Jeezy's music a little more personally because he got way more bops than Gucci, and I actually kind of equal. I just fuck with Gucci because Gucci's just really about that shit. You feel me? He real, he real that nigga, bro. You no, know, he gonna be capping. He been doing that whack shit. You feel me? He just keep it real. You feel me? He just keeps that shit real. Just real with niggas. You know, you don't got a lot of niggas. You don't got to play with niggas. He just real. I just fuck with him, man. I feel like probably Gucci's gonna win because Gucci's more about culture icon and shit like that. And it's crazy that they're both getting married and shit like that. That's crazy. It's just like that. And today in gaming news. Man, fuck the PS5, fuck the Xbox drop. It's fucking bullshit and it's ludicrous, bro. It's impossible to get that shit. You feel me? You gotta fucking beat bots. You gotta beat bots and people just to somehow even get lucky to get that shit, bro. Me and my homeboy, we were trying our damnedest to get a PS5. You feel me? You try to get that shit on Walmart, you can't get it because the minute you try to get it, automatically it gets sold, it gets sold out. Because people like have bots and stuff like that. You can buy who can which is bottom bottom things. It's, it's absolutely ludicrous, you know what I mean? 
absolutely ludicrous and I don't I don't fuck with it. No, I feel like I kind of wish COVID area up and end so I could buy the game. I, I understand why they're trying to do it online. I really respect it, you feel me? Because they think about the safety of the people and it's reasonable. Like, yeah, that's reasonable why they don't want to um, do it in person because, you know, COVID and stuff like that. But I personally feel like you shouldn't try to do a game like online because it kind of makes it unfair to people because nobody can get the game. It's very, it's very rare and very lucky that you even get the game because fucking people just, they use their bots to buy. They, they use their bots to buy. To buy the whole, to buy the whole production of everything. They buy all the, they buy everything, bro. Like you, you, it leave one minute. It even be less than a minute. You, you, rest, you restarted for one second. Then I all sold out. Like I was about to say, possibly. I don't think it's fair to anybody, any, if any, any shape or fashion. That's not fair. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Um, Bushi's birthday. He got shot on his birthday too. That mother happy birthday for Boosie in the um in the comments too. Stuff like that. And how do y'all feel about the presidential election, man? Do y'all think the rods will happen? I personally do not think they will happen. I think you know, you know how to you know how to what people be. Oh, we got guns, we got guns, we got guns, blah say blah say blah. Personally, I do not care. I can't stand when white people say we got guns. They act like they the only motherfuckers with guns. Nigga, this ain't the eighteen hundreds where only white only white men can have guns. Everybody in their fucking auntie got a gun. Nigga, my mom, my brother, my dad, I got a gun. Everybody got a gun, so I don't know what the fuck they think they're doing, nigga. It's not about if you have a gun. It's about you know how to use that bit. It's usually fucking white people who ain't never been to war, who ain't never done nothing, they like, ain't never shoot it. Who just, who just dumb for that, thinking they're crazy or tough because they have a gun. Or they think they're hunters or something like that. It's weird. I personally do not think nothing's gonna happen. I think we're gonna be safe. I just feel like people are gonna be capping out. And just saying whatever, just just saying bullshit, man. Just saying bullshit that really does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. So, did y'all hear that? And on the next story, we're gonna talk about that Uzi. We're gonna be talking about that Uzi in that future tape. How do y'all niggas feel about it? How do y'all niggas feel about it? Let's read the room. How do y'all niggas feel about it personally? It was too slow for me. I needed more hype songs. It was like one hype song on that whole track. It was the whole, it was kind of disappointing. It really was because Uzi and Future, they usually snap. I feel like it's overhyped because it's Uzi and Future. You know, I'm all for Future Vans to get toxic, but it just wasn't. It just didn't hit as good as I think it should have hit. That shit should have been, that shit should have banged. It should have motherfucking banged 100%. Like, them two niggas don't miss. Together, niggas should never miss. It was too slow. I think Lil Uzi, and don't think Lil Uzi didn't drop like the Lux. Like Lil Uzi did. With um, Eternal Outtake too. He needs to drop the Lux. That shit was kind of underwhelming. For me, it was underwhelming as fuck. I feel like they cut, they could have did better. And the delivery, it was just so slow. And I hate slow shit, like with two lit ass R's like that. I don't want them to be slow. I need them niggas to be hyped fast. I need them niggas to get me crunked. Like, I listen to them niggas to get me hyped and shit. Oh, that's all I listen to them niggas. I don't listen to them niggas to fight with. You feel me? I them niggas to harmonize. They don't, they don't gotta harmonize with me. They don't gotta harmonize for me. I need them niggas to be lit. Our next story, too, is you know, you're about that. Y'all think Corner Ronald will get clapped or not? I think that nigga is. The Chicago niggas don't play, bro. Chicago niggas are known for. Like packing niggas up in their blunts. Chicago niggas are some ruthless ass niggas, bro. These niggas are here rapping about killing a 15 year old, bro. They're talking about some. They, them niggas said they've been smoking on the same 15 year old nigga pack for damn near six years, bro. If that nigga's still alive, he'll be like 20 something. Those niggas is ruthless, bro. Ponda Rondo and the nigga who killed him, killed King Von, his homework is gonna get clapped out. I don't know, maybe they make up for NBA Young Boy too, just to, you know, to complete the whole saga. I pray that nigga don't get killed because you know I don't want to hear that nigga dick riders. I'm aiming that nigga music. I fuck myself. I gotta hear that nigga music. Feel me? Because he a human too. I don't, I don't think nobody deserves to die. He really, he really don't, he don't, he don't, he don't deserve to die for me. Yeah. No, I just heard that. Bro. I just heard that. Oh, this nigga live a long, healthy life. Like I said, do not move on the bank until you're in their network. Wait on the 
Hey, this is dope, though. You feel me? I'm just all for it. I'm just all for it. You feel me? Just keep, you know, keep people with your prayers, man. Just pray up, bro. This 2020 has been hard. It's been crazy, honestly. We lost so many. Like I said before, we lost so many brothers and sisters and, that, and everything, man. We lost Alex Trebek, too. Oh, yeah, that's something I got covered, too. We lost Alex Trebek. You feel me? I'm not, more, I'm not really surprised about that, death. He's like older though, and he's like, how, how old is Alex Trebek? How old is Alex Trebek? Like, he's like, he's like 80 something, 70 something or 80 something. Well, he, he, he died at a good age. He died, he didn't have, he died old, so that's cool. He died when he was, he died at 80 years old. He got 80, 80, 80, 80 years old, so yeah. That man lived a full health. He lived a full life. He was loved and beloved by his people, man. You know, so keep that man, keep that man in your prayers. Though you feel me, keep his family in your prayers. Keep everybody in your prayers. I talked about today. You feel me? We just need to, you know, he lived a long life, and that's only really anything to ask for, bro. Cause that's why I wish, that's how I wish King Von all these young rappers could live, bro. Like Mo three was young, he had kids. It's like people are taking away people from their kids, and that's just crazy. It's like that. It's just wild, man. I just pray we can get over all these violence and stuff like that. Actually, you know, just to understand each other and to take time to talk and see. This is wild, bro. Yeah, they news, too. Yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up the news. For today, I think I can find something else that happened, but not really. You know. Oh yeah, they dropped a brand new like it's like look, look a Black Santa Claus movie too. It's called Jingle Jangle and stuff like that. It's new on Netflix. Stuff like that got Forrest Whitaker, his cock out of that ass. We got that nigga in that shit. So. Yeah, it got this cock out. I got it got, got um for with the cock out ass in it, so it may be good. You feel me? That nigga's an amazing actor. I fuck with his content. Oh, what are you posting this shit? That oh yeah, and the, and the other news. It traded. Then the shooter got traded to Los Angeles for Danny Green, but she got fuck Danny Green. That nigga suck at basketball. He's a bitch ass, lame ass, weird ass, wee bad nigga. He's flunked out. He should have. Him and Kyle Kuzma need to be, need to be calm. No one never need to touch the sport of basketball ever again in their lives. Kyle Kuzma, he doesn't care about basketball. Only thing he cares about is being popular, being seen, and being cool. He said he does basketball for the Instagram and the fame. That's his problem. You can tell he don't care about the sport. He don't love the sport. Like, he needs to be gone there. That Danny Green's trash. He's washed. This honestly, he don't even deserve a ring. He he sold LeBron, bro. That man had one of the easiest shots in NBA history. He had, he had one of the easiest shots in NBA history. You feel me? Ray Allen, he had a way harder shot than that. You feel me? Ray Allen was got Two people coming on that boy. And stuff like that. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Happy birthday, you know, my boy Leonardo DiCaprio. You feel me? The white goat. That's one of the coolest white man's in history. You feel me? Even though he be saying the N-word a little too liberally in this movie, you feel me? He be saying that shit nice as fuck. He be saying that shit. That shit, like, that shit, like, like, that shit, like, that shit, his first language. Well, he be saying that shit. He be like, mm. He be like, mm. I can't say it. I ain't gonna get monetized. I just know what I'm saying though. But I can't say it. I would say if I could though. You know, I think NBA, NBA comes back in a couple, couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um. That's it. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I kind of want to put the conversation, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell friends about the channel. Y'all stay safe, man. Go follow my Instagram and my Twitch. Trey Whoop. And add my Snapchat to Trey Whoop. And go follow my Twitter, Shoe Sheriff. 
Make sure you like and subscribe. But always say, man, stay safe. I love y'all. Peace.